Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm at Diacati, got trainer extraordinaire Aurora with me, tennis trainer extraordinaire, actually. She's going to teach me some stretches that will benefit your tennis. Stay tuned. So I got tennis trainer extraordinaire Aurora with me today. And we're going to be talking about the importance of stretching your extremities for tennis specific. Okay. So uh, tennis trainer extraordinaire Aurora. Mm -hmm. um, we, <laughs> we, we've obviously know the three major injuries for tennis is elbow, rotator, and then ankle. Now, why is it important to stretch the elbow? It's important to stretch the elbow to make sure that your muscles are loose and stable. Your muscles should be gliding past one another and they should be able to provide force on the court. Um, if they're stiff, if you're not if you're stiff up the chain, you're not able to do the proper movement, and then things can get really tight. You're doing these repetitive motions, and then little micro tears can happen, pain happens, inflammation happens. So you want to make sure that everything is really loose. So getting ahead of the injuries and stretching is going to be really important. Okay. So I feel like um, a lot of people's elbow injuries and shoulder injuries happen because we squeeze the racket too tight on impact. You're a tennis player. Is there a way to remedy that for people? Yeah, that's a really good point. I think um, keeping in mind a really loose grip is huge. Letting it flow, going back to these like really fluid gliding muscles. You want to use the bigger stuff. You want to rotate, you want to use your shoulder your core, your glutes, and then everything else is kind of along for the ride, mm -hmm. you know? So you want to have everything really loose. If everything's really tight and tense and not stretched, it's easy to have a death grip on your racket mm -hmm. and then use your arm versus, you know, being really fluid and loose in your, in your torso. Right. We yeah. all forget that. We all, we <laughs> all watch TV and we think, oh, it's all wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's all arm and wrist. No, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's your legs and your feet getting you there. It's the turn that your shoulder and your hips have to do. And then it ends with the arm and the hands. Totally. That's exactly it. So yeah. we have to remember that. Um, obviously, we have to loosen up our big muscle, which is our legs. And... Um, why is it important to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you just said, I think um, having really loose hips, being able to move in all these different directions that tennis asks of us, you need to be able to get there and provide force in that range. So if you're stiff, you're used to sitting, you're walking, you're moving in this very like one directional motion all day, mm. it's super important to stretch in every direction so that you can provide rotation from your hips and your core uh, to be able to do the, the movements properly. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so let's go out on the, mm -hmm. uh, the floor here and do some stretches. All right, so um, I got Aurora with me, and we're going to talk about stretching and hopefully preventing, with the stretches, um, tennis elbow, rotator cuff, um, and ankle injuries. So Aurora, explain to me what the benefit of, let's say, stretching for tennis elbow would be. 
The benefit would be, like you said, injury prevention. A lot of times I see tennis players just go right on the court without warming up, doing anything. Yeah, so <laughs> warming up is going to be huge. You want your muscles warm and not cold. <laughs> so uh, making sure the muscles are ready for the activity that you're going to put them through. So tennis elbow specifically, you want to warm up the entire chain. Um, usually there's an inefficient movement pattern that's coming from above where the actual injury is happening. So making sure shoulders are really loose. Um, seeing what's attached to the shoulder, lats, pecs, um, making sure that all of that's really loose. So some stretches that we can do for that, um, you'll think of like doorway stretch or um, a doorway stretch for pecs. Mm -hmm. You can do it against any wall. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. come over here, a good one is you're leaning. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you can go maybe on the edge. Yeah. So like, like this. Elbow. So if you mirror oh. me, you can come this way, mm. and then you step towards me. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So you're like here, and then you can stretch. I see. Uh -huh. I see. So like this. Perfect. Got yeah. It. Elbow, and then you're stepping past the wall to get a good stretch in the front of your shoulder. Whoa, I feel that. Yeah. You can squeeze your back muscles while you're doing that. That can help the front release a little bit more. Yeah, I feel it all the way through here. Yes, that's exactly your pec. So that muscle that goes from your sternum and your clavicle to your shoulder, you're doing so much rotation in tennis of your shoulder. Um, and if there's something that's not mm -hmm. loose or working right, elbow can feel it. Mm -hmm. Your elbow tries to help you out and does too much. So tennis elbow specifically, make sure you're stretching your shoulder. You can stretch forearm a little bit. Some of these can be good. Yep. Some of these. Yep. And then pecs, like we just did. Pecs. Got it. You can go here, and then you can change the angle, come up, and then lean into the wall. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so what about all those people that basically just warms up with a short court? Here, we'll short court for maybe two balls. Let's back up Let's and back start up blasting them. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would take a little bit more steps in between. <laughs> um, you can do a lot of these with your tennis racket. You know, you can put it behind your back. And okay. grab both ends, right? right? Right. Just so you're stretching, yeah. Like okay. just so you're stretching your whole shoulder. Make sure everything's loose. You'll see swimmers, you know, do their whole warm mm -hmm. up. You want to yeah, treat they do tennis. Their little. Yeah, you want to treat tennis the same way. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh, it can actually, be dynamic. Yeah. So you can go like here, and just you know, just so you're not holding the stretch, mm -hmm. but you're you're oh, making a little bit more so dynamic. So just so just like a motion. Yeah. So not just okay. Yeah. Okay. That's. I never thought about it that way, actually. Yeah. Um, okay. Training specifically, like if you're training intentionally, you want to warm up intentionally, mm -hmm. especially if you're having some elbow issues, making sure you're really focused on um, pre-movement stretching, which is going to be more of a dynamic warming up the tissue versus just holding it. Got it. Yeah. So if I'm on the court. I got a fence to do this with. Great. I got a yeah. racket to do this with. Uh -uh. Um, anything else? Can I use the net? Can I use the ground? Can I use a bench? You can use all of that. Yeah, you can <laughs> use it all. Um, the ground you can use for lats. You can do, I can show you really quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, one thing that can be really helpful. So if you're here, um, let's see how I want to do this. You can go here to stretch pecs like we just did. Mm -hmm. You can do one of these. Oh. Yes. Uh huh. Yes, yes, yes. So what you just did on the wall, same thing. Okay. Yeah. So you're here. You're pushing yourself away, twisting over that shoulder. I would dislocate my arm if I did that. I yeah. Think. So the main thing is to, again, be super <laughs> intentional. So like, squeeze your back together while you're stretching. Don't let your shoulder come forward. Got it. But you're here, so you're oh, actually stretching the right stuff. Oh, I saw that. Right okay. Staff. The elbow stays up. I mean, uh, the shoulder stays the up. The shoulder stays up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want me to do it? Really? So we can practice this one. This just proves you can do these stretches anywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Does that feel okay? I just dislocated my shoulder. Oh, no. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, 
no. <laughs> Stress gone wrong. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. That definitely opened up my shoulder, though. But I felt good. I felt really good. Great. <laughs> and then, so elbow, what do we do for elbow? Elbow. Wake up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, you, we, did we can elbow. do some of these forearm stretches, okay. right? With That's the elbow right. straight. Um, you can hold these out in front of you, maybe 30 seconds. Again, you can make this one dynamic and oh. just kind of move it around, bring it into a bigger stretch, flex it, stretch it, flex it, stretch it. Same thing, go the opposite way, gently. Yep. Yeah. You can do a flex and then stretch it again. Uh-huh. One thing that you can do really gently to warm up wrists and elbows, if you're here, really gently, oh, wow. this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is a super soft stretch. You have, a, of course, a lot of vital, um, arteries and veins going this through This does here. not look right. I know. <laughs> but you will definitely feel a stretch in this I definitely flexor do. compartment of your forearm. So that can help stretch those muscles that you're about to be using in tennis. I'm definitely engaged here. Then Great. I <laughs> definitely feel a lot of strain here. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> like, like right, working. like right there. Yeah. Just like that. Wow. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now what about, um, the lower side of our body. Lower side, you want to make sure hips are really loose, right? So this is a good one that you can do just the position mm. that we're in now. Oh, just like that. Yeah. I thought you were resting. No. <laughs> what you can do is lean forward. Yeah. And so this gets that back hip, mm. right? You should feel the hip flexors back here. Yep. And then you can sneak this foot underneath you more and get more of a calf stretch. If you shove your knee way out in front. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Wow. And then just to get, because you're so multi-directional with tennis, um, you want to stretch in this direction, you want to stretch in this direction. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a different sensation. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, again, calves are getting stretched here, hips are getting stretched here, making sure you're doing it all these different wow. directions. that is cool. I yeah. Never thought about doing this, but now I know. Warm up, warm up is key. That's... Wow. <laughs> you can even do one step further. So we got ankles, knees, hips. You can go hamstrings and sit back. You can use your hands for it. <laughs> I'm not very flexible, <laughs> if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> That's exactly that's, what we're doing. This is a that's good about it. You're a good case study. I'm like, Hello. <laughs> you can modify by bending the knee. Oh. Okay. Right? So if you're oh. here, hands are down, and then you can just slowly do what feels comfortable for you. Yeah, yeah. I think a chair would help right about now. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> so I could sit on it. Yeah. And if anything, wow. again, like you said <laughs> if you want to do on the ground. Just hamstring stretch on the ground. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? okay? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <I'm good. laughs> when I, when I, back in the day when I actually worked out and had a trainer at one time, I would have the person actually stretch me. Yeah. Yeah. Because yes. I couldn't, I can't. I'm not comfortable sitting like that or stretching out like that at all. Yeah. So. Have your partner give you some assistance for mm -hmm. sure. Like I think um, if you're playing with someone, which most of the times you have an opponent, yeah, uh, you know, help each other out with the stretches, help each other out with the warm up. Yep, yeah, definitely. Totally. Definitely. I definitely need help. <laughs> <laughs> Any other um, exercises <laughs> for the ankle specifically here? The ankle stretches, or stretches, yeah, strengthening, yeah. So um, similar to what we did with the calf strengthening, the mm -hmm. calf raises, mm -hmm. that's a really good stretch as Got well. It. So just go through the full range of motion with that calf raise, Got and it. you'll feel a stretch. Um, if you're on the tennis court, you can always do against the wall, right? Oh, yeah. Or against yeah. the fence. So if you're here, you can do one of these, right? And then lean. Yeah. That's right. Oh. I always forget about this too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
if you go into your tennis matches or whenever you're playing, have um, have some key points of focus, I would say, for your warm up. Maybe take notes and take get notes. a little, maybe um, have a little script that you go through before you actually pull out your racket and start playing. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. Bring some bands to the tennis court, yeah. or anything yeah. that you can do to to keep you consistent and yep. remind you of what to do. You can always work ground up, stretches, you do ankles, knees, hips, then shoulder. So the closer I'm to this wall, the more stretched I am, right? Yes, yeah. Yep, and then like we talked about, you can do a straight knee, and then you can do a bent knee stretch too. Got it. And that one you might feel different sensations with, so this is a stretch, this is also a different stretch. Got it. Yeah. Cool. Both effective for the ankle. We're ready. I think we're ready. Okay. Yeah, injury free. Are you are you actually ready to take the court now? <laughs> Not yet. No, oh, shoot. <laughs> Aurora yet. actually had a uh, torn ACL. ACL. Yeah. And it's been six months. Um, I got surgery in April. So three or four months. No. How, how much longer? Uh, they said nine months at least. Nine months. At until least. I can play tennis again. Wow. So next year. Okay. Can't so come she, soon enough. So Aurora's going to play on the City College of San Francisco women's <laughs> team, and that season's in the spring, right? I think it's. It probably will start at the beginning of next year. I don't know if I'll make the next year, but maybe the year after. Okay. Yeah. All right. But I'll be out there. I'll be out there next summer. Okay. Yeah. Good. 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 Yeah. So. Aurora, thank you for teaching us how to stretch our way into, you know, preventing the tennis injuries. Mm -hmm. um, where can they find you? You can find me on Instagram. My handle is Aurora Trains Tennis, um, or through the Diacati website. I train here, and you can find me on there okay. on their site. Perfect. So yeah. we're at Diacati in San Francisco. We will put the link below, and you can find the place yeah. and the tennis training expert, Aurora. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Man to man. Thank you so much for playing, my man. Thank you. Thanks All for right. Me. Same time next week? You got it. All right. If you are looking for that perfect tennis partner who'll play with you whenever you want, I play with Dan once a week. Play Your Court is the place. Over 27,000 registered players wanting to play with you. It's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Find your partner there.